Welcome back guys. After discussing about different pressures inside the alveoli, now let's discuss what happens during inspiration. So how air is going to enter into the alveolus? See, first of all, you should know during inspiration, what are the events taking place? Chest wall expands. Okay, and diaphragm contracts. So, chest wall expands and diaphragm contracts. We know. See, when chest wall is expanding, parietal pleura is moving away. And whenever diaphragm is also contracting, we all know downside. Okay, please let me show you here. See, here will be the diaphragm. Let me take with a different color. See, here will be the diaphragm. Now, diaphragm, it's also attached to what? Diaphragm is also attached to parietal pleura. Now, when diaphragm is contracting and when chest wall is expanding, what exactly is happening? Parietal pleura is moving away. Now, when parietal pleura is moving away from the visceral pleura, what is happening to the intrapleural space? The intrapleural space or the intrapleural volume is increasing. So, know this one point. Now, with, the chest, with this chest wall expansion, and diaphragm contraction, intrapleural volume or the intrapleural space or the intrapleural cavity, what's happening? Increases. Intrapleural space increases. Now, we all know from the Boyle's law, when intrapleural space or the intrapleural volume increases, when volume increases, pressure will decrease. So, what happened to the intra? Pleural pressure. Now, volume is increasing. So, definitely intrapleural pressure should fall. Normally, what is the pressure? Intrapleural pressure is minus 2.5 mm Hg. This is normal during rest. Now, during inspiration, it will go to minus 6 mm hg the pressure is falling down see minus 6 is less than minus 2.5 so from minus 2.5 pressure is bringing to minus 6 mm hg now we can say in this image okay let me draw the image so that it will be easy for you here i am showing you this is the alveolus now surrounding the alveolus i am showing you the pleural space first event what is that now first event is Diaphragm contraction and chest wall expansion. Because of that, intrapleural volume is increased. Now it moves from minus 2.5. Intrapleural volume is increased and the intrapleural pressure is going to decrease. So intrapleural pressure from minus 2.5 mm Hg, it's becoming minus 6 mm Hg. Now tell me, lungs are surrounded by more vacuum or not? Now, lungs and the alveolus are surrounded by more vacuum. Now, this vacuum is the one which really stretch open the alveolus. Now, alveolus are now blossoming or the alveolus are now opening much bigger. So, now this vacuum will open the alveolus. Now, what happens? To the alveolar cavity size. Now, alveolar cavity size is also expanding. Now, alveoli is becoming much bigger. Now, tell me, during resting state, what is the pressure inside the alveolus? During resting state, it is zero. Now, what's happening in the alveolus? The alveolus is becoming much bigger. The volume of the alveolus is becoming much bigger. Now, when volume increases, what happened to the pressure inside the alveolus? The pressure inside the alveolus will fall. So, from 0, it will become minus 1 mm Hg. So, remember guys, during inspiration, what's happening to the intra-alveolar pressure? Now, intra-alveolar pressure, it's becoming minus 1 mm Hg. Now, what is the 
atmospheric pressure so during inspiration during expiration there is there will be no change in the atmospheric pressure you cannot control the atmospheric pressure right so all the time it is 0 mm hg okay so atmospheric pressure it is 0 mm hg now outside it is 0 now inside the alveolus the pressure is how much now inside the alveolus the pressure is minus 1 mm hg outside it is 0 who is greater outside is greater or inside is greater so definitely outside is greater why because 0 is greater than minus 1 mm hg now what will happen we all know air will move from high pressure to low pressure so now air starts to enter into the lungs now why air is enter into the lungs why because during inspiration the pressure inside the alveolus is minus 1 mm hg outside the pressure is 0 mm hg 0 is greater than minus 1 so automatically air because of this pressure gradient have entered into the lungs okay this is what happens during inspiration now after saying this let's talk about what happened during expiration it's very simple just reverse during expiration let me draw it here here is your alveoli now after inspiration see often uh, see during inspiration the pressure became minus 6 mm hg we all know now during expiration what's happening diaphragm is relaxing chest wall is collapsing back going back so everything is reversing right so again from minus 6 it will become minus 2.5 mm hg so there is a less vacuum now whenever there is less vacuum again the alveolus are collapsing back so alveolus they are collapsing back because of the elastic recoil forces now this alveolus are going back to their normal shape so whenever the alveolus are collapsing back what happened to the volume of alveolus what happened to the vol volume of this alveoli now volume is decreasing when volume decreases what happens inside the pressure the pressure will increase during inspiration the pressure is minus one okay minus one now what will happen see you should know certain basic things please concentrate during inspiration the pressure is minus one you all know this thing the pressure is minus one but this air is entering right okay this air is entering now with the entry of air with the entry of air this minus one will again become zero okay because air is entering now new air is going so pressure will again increase okay all the time air is going to less pressure now from the atmosphere air is entering into the lung at the end of the day equilibration will happen equilibrium will be attained okay so outside minus uh, outside is zero inside will also become zero from minus one it will become zero so at the end of inspiration remember at the end of inspiration the pressure again back to zero okay now see at the starting of inspiration it is minus one no doubt starting of inspiration it is minus one with the entry of air new air it again becomes zero now what is happening expiration is happening the diaphragm is relaxing the chest wall is collapsing now alveolus are also getting smaller in size now what will happen what happens is the pressure inside the alveolus will become plus one plus one outside is how much outside is all the time zero atmospheric pressure is all the time zero now inside the alveolus it is how much it is plus one so immediately air will start to go out during expiration why air is going out during expiration sir the pressure inside the alveolus become plus one mm hg outside it is zero mm hg plus one is greater than zero so air starts to move out okay so for how much time it will move out so when again this when again this plus one it have to come zero so till that time so till equilibrium is attained air will move out okay so air is going in 
air is coming out. During inspiration, air is going in because of the negative pressures inside the alveolus. During expiration, air is coming out due to positive pressures inside the alveolus. Okay. So, this exchange will happen until equilibrium is attained. Okay, guys. Now, after seeing this, let's talk about a few important questions. I will ask and try to just answer. Now, what is the intra alveolar pressure at rest? What is the intra alveolar pressure during inspiration? And what is the intra alveolar pressure during, not during, at the end? At the end of inspiration. Intra alveolar pressure during expiration and at the end of expiration. See at the end everything should be equilibrated. Okay, intra alveolar pressure at the end it should be equilibrated, equilibrated even at the end of inspiration or even at the end of expiration. First of all let us go one by one. What is the intra alveolar pressure at rest? We all know at rest the atmospheric pressure is in communication with the alveolus. So outside zero inside also zero okay during inspiration what is happening during inspiration the intra alveolar pressure or i should say at the start of inspiration the intra alveolar pressure is becoming negative minus 1 okay minus 1 that's the reason why that's the reason right the air is entering into the lungs okay so minus 1 mmhg at the end of inspiration because of the entry of air now that minus 1 will become zero again now tell me during expression what will happen during expression now alveolar collapsing because of the relaxation of diaphragm and the collapse of the uh, this chest wall alveolus are also collapsing the volume of alveolus is collapsing so the pressure inside the alveolus will increase so what happened to the pressure inside the alveolus it will become plus one at the end of expression see air is coming out coming out coming out and at the end in the alveolus it will become zero Okay, at the end, all the time, 0 mm is either end of the inspiration or end of the expiration. That I will show you in a graphical image here. Please concentrate. See, intra-plural pressure, I am showing you here, intra-plural pressure. Now, see guys, sorry, not intra-plural pressure, intra-alveolar pressure. Okay, just correction, intra-alveolar pressure, I am showing you here. What is the normal intra-alveolar pressure during rest? During rest, it is 0. Now, during inspiration, what is happening? See, here I am showing you inspiration. During inspiration, the alveolus are expanding. When the alveolus are expanding, what happened to the pressure inside the alveolus? It will fall down. So, pressure from 0, it will go to minus 1. See, the pressure is coming to minus 1. Okay, but at the end, see, at the end of inspiration, at the end of inspiration, again it's coming back to zero. Now what's starting? Expiration is starting. During expiration, the alveolus are collapsing. See, alveolus, they are collapsing. When the alveolus are collapsing, inside the alveolus, the pressure will increase. It will become plus one. Okay, see here, it's a plus one pressure. Okay, and at the end, again it's coming back to zero. Okay, now this is what I want you to know. There is one more graph. Here I am discussing about the volume. Volume. See, this is the starting of inspiration. During starting of inspiration, the volume of air which is entering into the alveolus is zero. Starting, starting. Now, with inspiration, how much amount of air is going into your alveolus? See, with inspiration, air is going into the lungs. Certain volume of air is going into the lungs. How much volume is going into the lungs? normally 0 0.5 liters okay 0 0.5 liters that is 500 ml so this is called as a tidal volume the amount of air which goes into the lungs with inspiration and comes out with expiration is a tidal volume and what is the normal tidal volume is 500 ml okay now see here guys a few more important points which i want you to know let's take out this Okay, let's see. Now, here I am showing you inspiration and expiration. 
Now, what is the volume change with inspiration and expiration? From 0, 500 ml of air is entering into the lungs, that is 0 0.5 liters and 500 ml of air will go out of the lungs. We have already discussed this and this is called as tidal volume. What is the normal tidal volume? 500 ml. Now, after this, let us talk about the intra-alveolar pressures. During inspiration, the intra-alveolar pressure moved to minus 1 mm Hg and at the end of inspiration, it again came back to 0. During expiration, it goes to plus 1 and at the end of expiration, it again comes back to 0. Okay. This also we have discussed. Now, let us talk about intrapleural pressure guys. Okay. Now, what is the normal intrapleural pressure? Normal intrapleural pressure, okay, here the values are little wrong. Let me correct down it here. Here, the normal intrapleural pressure is minus 2.5 mmHg and minus 6 mmHg. This we have already seen. This blue color area, the blue color strip, all this, uh, this dotted line is there, right? So, whatever is there on the left, that is the inspiratory area. Now, we have seen during inspiration, the pressure, intrapleural pressure will move from minus 2.5, it will become minus 6 mm Hg and during expiration it will move again from minus 6 to minus 2.5. So, intrapleural pressures are changing from minus 2.5 to minus 6 mm Hg during inspiration and from minus 6 to minus 2.5 during expiration. Okay and air flow guys here very important air flow see please concentrate here is the inspiration we all know. And this is the expiration. Now, where is the maximum flow of air? Flow of air into and outside. We all know air is entering into the lungs during inspiration and air is coming out of the lungs during expiration. But during inspiration itself, when will be the maximum flow of air into the lungs? For this, you need to know a little concept. Let us divide inspiration into three phases inspiration. Now, starting middle and end. Okay, starting middle and end. I am not talking about first, second, 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 third, second. That is totally different thing. Here I am dividing the inspiration into three phases. Starting of the inspiration, mid of the inspiration and at the end of the inspiration. Now, my question is during inspiration, when will be the maximum flow of air into the alveoli? During starting of inspiration or the mid of inspiration or at the end of inspiration? See, all the time in the middle of the inspiration, the maximum flow of air into the lungs will be seen in the middle of the inspiration. If you ask me why, because in the middle of, in the, even in this graph you can see, in the middle of the inspiration, the pressure is, the intra-alveolar pressure is, minus 1. See the minus 1 intraalveolar pressure is attained in the middle of the inspiration. So, maximum pressure gradient is achieved in the middle of the inspiration. Okay, the difference, the pressure, see here also air is coming, here also air is coming, even here also air is coming, but less amount of air is coming. In the middle of the inspiration, the intraalveolar pressure become minus 1. Okay, not in the starting of the inspiration, in the middle of the inspiration, intraalveolar pressure became minus 1, outside is 0. So, the pressure gradient, the pressure difference is maximum in the middle of the inspiration. So, maximum flow of air into the lungs will happen in the middle of the inspiration. In the same way, maximum flow of air outside, okay, to out during expiration will also happen in the middle. So, mid inspiration and mid expiration will have maximum air flow. Okay. Guys, with this, we have discussed the mechanics of breathing also. How air enters into the lungs and how air exits the lungs. In the next video, we will discuss about some important concepts like compliance and elastance. Thank you.